should be at about the same temperature you usually are. Okay. Not quite what I meant. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cartographer's Guild. My name is Josh. I'm Drea. I'm Leah. I'm Brad. We're playing Andromeda. You should almost be done Bring with this. today's baby grunt. <laughs> uh, yes, of course, baby grunt. I forgot him last week. Oh, no. How did you mess that up? I, I don't know. Oh, you happened. forgot the marker. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Huh? What? The the video marker? That's uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. He hasn't been using them. So. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting about him anyway. So. <laughs> it is kind of funny, though. We should do this. <laughs> I keep forgetting this. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Well, it's the problem when it's like a new feature and we've already been doing this for almost two years and it's kind of like, uh, hmm. Right. Hey. <laughs> Writer. Okay. Uh, I think Silver is asking for a close-up view of uh, Baby Grunt. Or possibly she's just saying, I can't wait to see it in person. It's the best I can do. I have little arms. Do you want nope. me to use my giant arms? For nope. Right. She's going to have to come wait. to see him. What? what are you doing to me? Where is Joel? I'm going to have to find him. Is he downstairs? Yes. What's going on? He's usually hanging out with Liam if he's not here. Oh, he's I know where he is. <laughs> so let me... What? Shows on the doll silver. <laughs> where they touched you. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> it's John. What do you what do you want? <laughs> there you are. What are you doing here? Uh oh, show us on the doll silver. <laughs> I did. Yes. I'm looking forward to seeing what you and Gil put together. He's very gifted. If, when we succeed, more of your people can experience our stories as they are meant to be enjoyed. Goda Tavitara. The Lulia Reborn Trilogy. I'm weeping a bit already. I bet ain't guard films are intense. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could handle an Angaran movie night. Alright, what's next for movie night? I look forward to it. Come on, what's next for movie night? We probably have to leave the ship and come back. Yeah, let's that go do Rider Family thing. Memories. We can't. Still? Still blocked off. We haven't reached that point in the plot yet. Alright, let's see. Uh, can't do anything with that, so Journey to Meridian! Back to the Nexus! See, told you. OMG plot? Let's yeah. hope! Yeah. No, the, uh, the told you was Josh was like, I'm not sure. We were talking earlier and he's like, I'm not sure what's next. I'm like, this is next. Really? Yes. Plot! Into space we go. Whoosh. I recommend bringing Preacher. <laughs> binging, I think. What? Oh, binging Preacher. Uh. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, M Theory, I did finish the second season. Yeah. You guys can talk about it now. Mm -hmm. Are you caught up on Voltron, Brad? Uh, I'm not sure we've watched this at the very latest season yet. Because <clears throat> I believe the next season's coming out in November. Okay. Wow, well, already? That's what I read. Oh yeah, we have people to talk to here as well. Did you spend your child-free day catching up on Voltron? Well, Josh was like, you have to catch up, and I was like, oh, okay, and I, we binge-watched two seasons. <laughs> then it came to Josh, and I was like, all right, I'm caught up. He's like, that's great, I'm not. I'm only a season behind because it just came out. It came out, like, last week. I assumed you were farther behind than that. It's, yeah, so did so. I. Because, like... Two seasons of that is nope. eight episodes? Well, I mean, season seven's 13. Oh, okay. Gee, thanks. God what were damn you it, Tim. Uh, she's been trying really hard to tell the lot. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Like, more than once, we're like, can't we be a little more disruptive? She's like, we're trying to be helpful. Alright, I don't think there's anything left to buy here, but if I did, uh, yeah, I'll give it a try. I think you check every time we come. Oh, come on. Alright. 
And PCs didn't want to load, so I can't buy from them. Yep, that's how that it's works. Fine. There's nothing to Which buy. Which is ridiculous because you have to use the kiosk anyway. Yep, yep. I know. <laughs> you try talking to them, they say, please use the kiosk. Oh my god. Like those people at Jack in the Box who just don't care anymore. Like, I'd like to order. Just use the kiosk. Don't talk to me. All right. Well, speaking of which, did everybody have a cheeseburger today? Yes. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. actually. We okay. went to Red Robin. Yep. It being National Cheeseburger Day, apparently. Who knew? Who hey, knew? Carrie. Oh, hey, Ryder. Hakeem said they arrested you. Hey, Troublemaker. I guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. Uh, you did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to know. You had to tell the truth, whatever the cost. You did what was right. You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters. People crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. I, I like this is history, too. Sure. It's sure. not pretty. Imprisoning a vidmaker for her work seems historic. Too so bad <laughs> no one recorded it. <laughs> they took my camera. But I was scribbling a few notes. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I'll send word if anything changes. Hang on. We, you know, talk to, to people to fix that, since we're kind of in with the people in charge. No. Can we go into Tan's office and go, do you know how bad this makes you look? <laughs> Thanks for your help with those receivers. The signal's strong and our message is clear. Oh, good. And you seem to be doing okay. You're getting good intel. It's still like pulling teeth. His voice does not match his appearance. I remember, what were we doing? We were playing um, uh, Agents of Mayhem. Uh -huh. And it was the tech girl in that one. The cute little black girl that works on the Ark. Oh, yeah. And you're like, her voice does not match her at all. And then I looked up the voice actress, and she looks exactly like the character. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, yeah, it was uncanny. It was like, oh, well, all right. But it just... And maybe it's... I know... Uh, careful. 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 Cash is upset about this game. The Pathfinder. Hi guys. We were discussing how things end with the arc. I'm sorry. I'm about sorry the about the Krogan. Cash, it's true I had to leave some Krogan behind. I'm sorry about that. You've already done your part for us. That's more than I can say for others. Yet I have to question what we gained provoking the arc like this. What we've gained an entire species? <laughs> Why is everybody walking like they're bow-legged? They always have. I'm surprised you haven't noticed. It just seems really bad today. Well, not all of them. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. Uh... It's okay, I'm going in solo. I'm a little on nine, but I, uh, I can be overridden. I think the fight is coming anyway. Yeah, like, that is fine. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight. <laughs> the Archon's already studying how to exalt us. Ah, uh, theory which, also recommends wrecked. It's better to focus on the outposts. Wrecked? Yeah. <laughs> At least Apparently that's a show on TV. Place. Oh. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance mm. letting AI get Oh my god. I'm Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved this is. I am so done with all of you. <laughs> but I can't support the plan. Then I will. It's like, you don't have to support my plan. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you aren't me. I hope you understand. Ooh, one! <laughs> yeah. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you. It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. And that's the rotten chain I beat you with, because I'm command. Why am I surprised? Not yet. <laughs> well, exactly Sadly. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. Oh, of course there's a way. There urgent message for you. We have you a ship. Your is awake. What? That's finally. Go. We'll talk later in the tech lab. It's only been the whole damn game. Yeah. <laughs> Zoiks! Uh, 
<clears throat> hug, hug. Touchy feely time. Why is that even Don't a problem? You slept in long enough? I thought it was Saturday. Then Sunday. Depends on how strict you're being. How much like your father? I missed you. Yes, and everyone is required to use my full title. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in a coma. Maybe take it easy there, buddy. You need a chance to map. Yeah, says who? Uh, the oh, Pathfinder. Well, uh, that works too. All right. Let's try. Okay. The Pathfinder. That's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, specialist writer. Pulling <laughs> rank already. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just did. You can keep talking if you like. Just no arrest. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Riggs. We have some ideas about her. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Will do. Let's see. Do you have other hey. chatty right. options, sir? Let's find out. You're feeling out of the loop, I imagine. Good job, camera. <laughs> Just the fate of the universe. Yeah. Ah, uh, galaxy. Thank you. Man, woman, child, and everything in between facing certain extinction. The usual. Oh. Well, I'm sure Pathfinder Man will cover that. <laughs> it's chapter four, actually. We'll have it wrapped by one. There's a race of aliens called the Cat. They're led by a scary nut job named Archon who wants to turn all of us into them. We both want Meridian, which is the heart of an alien terraforming network trying to activate. In case nobody knew the plot of the game. Very proud of you. <laughs> you should also know, Dad was keeping some secrets from us. Like what? Turns out Sam is even smarter than anyone knew, and Dad used his connection to Sam. It's a lot more powerful than other Pathfinders. So is mine. Doctor's over there, just like judging mm -hmm. and twitching. <laughs> He's been twitching a lot too. Uh, I've seen his memories. Dad encrypted some of his memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. Mm -hmm. You and I were there. It was mom. You actually saw her? It was at the hospital the day she died. And that reunion dinner she wanted us at so badly. Right. Dad was as usual to talk with himself. There was something else. I saw Dad talk with a benefactor in the Milky Way. Some initiative bigwig I'd never heard of. <laughs> yeah. I'm still hoping I can figure out what it all means. Wouldn't that be nice? I thought maybe we could talk about mom and dad. Sure. What about them? Oh boy. Alright. I <laughs> thought you might want to know how dad died. <clears throat> Habitat 7. This really is just the summary of the game in case you've forgotten. You tuned in a good episode, guys. <laughs> maybe you have. Then all hell broke loose. That's why I'm titling this episode. <laughs> the recap episode. <laughs> this recap sucks. <laughs> right. I guess he cared after all. Sure. I never really knew with Dad. He could be so distant. I guess he loved us more than we knew. What it mattered most. Yeah. What do you remember about? Play Twitch and Medcap, Med, med well, Tech back here. In the Alliance, researching early biotic implants. That's about the time she met Dad. He was on Earth for a seven trip. Mm -hmm. I think. He says he swooped in and swept her off her feet. Kind of She's stealing office cold supplies. Cold. <laughs> Here's your family history that we never explained earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Does this feel like it got written in at the last minute? 
Either that or it's like the sibling needs some lines. Camera. Camera. <laughs> Pan down. Get the what do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Big space station shot full of all sorts of aliens. Scary at first, but pretty soon I was playing laser tag with jury and scary kids. Looking back on it, maybe that's why That'd be pretty fun. The Citadel yeah. showed me life has no limit on possibilities. I'd be afraid to play with the Turian kids. <laughs> Probably very serious about winning. Oh, well, yeah. the, the, they'd have to mix up the teams. Yeah, like yeah. they'd have to have Turians on both sides. You couldn't just have them on one side because yeah. they'd always win. You still think about it's like them? we're having fun. Yeah. We're a military unit. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I Dad talked about her before we went on our first mission. Really? After she died, Dad seemed to shut down. He hadn't talked about her in years. He loved her. I think he was just lost. Feeling homesick at all? I just woke up, bitch. I think about what might have been if everything had gotten screwed up. What do you think would be different? Well, when you were looking for both the artifacts, I was standing watch over a mass effect room. I love the thing to stay around every day. I dream about what was on the other side, the adventures I would have, things I would accomplish. Up how? Start with mom dying. I never cried so hard. And dad? He was never the same after that. He put so much into Sam to save her, but, well, AI says he's going to go against the Milky Way. Ah, more recap. After the Mars kicked him out for it, everything changed. I almost done with the recap. Suddenly being Alan Ryder's kid was a black mark. You and I would never want to live that down. Good point. <laughs> well, I'll let you take it easy then. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how slam they got a nap, then doze a bit, then try to catch up on sleep. It'll get better. Not before you find that already. I want in. I'll take pictures. We had to have some we had establish some rapport with our twin brother, I guess. I don't understand why they did it this way. Hmm? Nope, I yeah, there still really, really hasn't been real payoff for the whole going into a coma thing. I get, like, I know... Uh, or even for having a sibling at all. Exactly. Aside from like, you didn't need to do that. Like, like if you just wanted to be able to be male or female, like, they could have done it without this whole twin in a coma thing. Like, I, maybe it's still coming. I don't know. But, like, so far it just feels so... It feels like an afterthought, almost. It's like, oh, shit, yeah, he was in a coma. We'd better bring him up. Play the memory! We already figured this out. Silver suspects he will help us out in the final mission. You better not die doing it. <laughs> totally well. That's Maybe what you always we'll do. Die and save him the way our father saved us. Hmm. That would be incredibly noble, but I don't see that happening. Castus, thanks for calling. And then a lot of people still admit to knowing me. Those were good days when Citadel Alex. Huh. Carrion. Yep. Oh. Of course, they're name dropping. This threat, they're called Reapers. Shepherd's word for them. Something about a cycle, an extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy wide. Supposedly, the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. Can't get caught in the crossfire. I 
Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? Well, we need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. I find it exactly. funny that they scrambled their appearance but not their voice. Mm -hmm. Back down my kids, tell them their way needs to talk. Dirt. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Mm -hmm. Make sure her body's on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. Mm -hmm. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. Oh, shiz! Sam, transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. I think he, he should have told us. told us. This should never have been kept secret. Your father didn't want to raise false hopes. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder, to see the process through. And that's why Cora could be made Pathfinder. Mm -hmm. Because Cora would have done the responsible thing. So this was Dad's plan. Anna could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover Hugh had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure Hugh and Scott could one day be reunited with her mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Now we know what Jane Garson meant, but something big spooked the Benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? The Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reapers' return was imminent. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the benefactor. Now they're moving 100,000 of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good, but I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was or is the benefactor? Unknown. That was over 600 years ago. Is Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? <laughs> Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are troubling. Your father believed it proven to be that you have this information should anything happen to him. There's no way we could possibly know. Yeah, you know. can't know the answer yeah. to that. We you left before it was over. Yeah, we've also, and we've fathered, traveled faster than light to get here, so there's no way we could get the information. Well, Unless right. they sent it using the same, uh... I someone would have to know. Yeah. yeah, I guess if someone well, knew that we were doing this and knew how we were getting yeah. here... I forgot how uh, Turian succession works. Uh, military rank. Please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy wide run for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave group. 
they're all cyborgs now. Yeah, I was going to say, I, based on our ending, yeah, that is different. <laughs> but, you know, not necessarily for the worst. that message because she was already dead. Yep. What news? You don't know what happened. The Reapers started attacking. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're Remind all me of how Mass it, Effect 3 ended. You talked about everybody being changed. So, okay. you had a choice at the end to basically say, to enslave all synthetic life forms um, to, like, Hybridize or destroy. Yeah, to hybridize with them or to destroy them all. And we chose the hybridize option. Mm -hmm. Hybridize was the special you did everything right option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, these are the only, you know, non hybridized humans and Asari and all that left. left. Yeah. Because everybody else is a cyborg. Yes. Well, the way we played it. Yes. Um, I just realized something. What? Really? Shit, there's a lot of stuff to do. Alright, All right, so they dropped a bomb about Ryder's mom. Can we do anything about that? Not yet! Nope. I mean, you know that's gonna be locked behind plot. I know. Well, she's in a stasis pod. And still has whatever disease was killing her. <laughs> right, we can't <laughs> wait for her for anything. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Kek won't know which is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. Yes, yeah, so the. Uh, the Reapers were still very much a mystery when the Andromeda Initiative left. Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, let's just go with that's all I need. Yeah. We're very positive here. I can work with that. Just enough to give us an advantage. The rest is up to you. I can handle it. What well, means going against the Initiative? We're alone here. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. <laughs> and the so Solarian back there is playing air guitar. Tan told us we can't go we find Meridian. Yeah, and mm -hmm. yes, and that we'll have no support. <laughs> Said we're doing it anyway. <laughs> Except we haven't been paid. <laughs> sure, they pay us once in a while. <laughs> Not likely after this. First, you'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology. Then we'll rendezvous with Meridian. Good luck. I'm guessing researching means spending enough resources, so this is yes. gated yeah. behind it. progress. Okay, we got other things to do too. Guys, 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 talk to me. Specimens, scans, our conservation effort can barely keep up. What a wonderful service. Dude, we're okay. Certainly earned your fee. Wow, he's like. Ah, Jesus. Way up here for a second. He did not know where to stand. Oh, Elaine. What are you doing here? Supervised work on this program. Making up what my mother did. Trying to stop me up. I swear she said she only disabled. Uh, I 
think that one's more important, yeah? Guys? Uh, I wasn't paying attention to the first part. Yes, what happened to your mother? Has Mike been sentenced? Uh, Silver, if the Solarian Pathfinder died, they would have replaced it with a different Pathfinder, and that's who would be our ally here, I'm guessing. Okay. Alright, now I think there was something else? Other question marks? Oh, um, specifically, yeah. the captain of the Solarian ship would have become the new Pathfinder. Uh, yeah, I think mm. she. They even said that when. Okay. Well, I'm glad we saved the path. Oh, later. okay. Yes. No, we are supposed to go back to the cargo pod. Yeah. Cargo pod what? That's that. That's that. Nobody cares. Yeah, the Solarian Pathfinder is like the second Solarian female we've ever met. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. The when. The Solarian Pathfinder sent us her message of, I'm going to save my people and I'll probably die. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think at that point she said, then the captain should take over after me. Yeah. Hmm. So. May hand this off. Whee! Looks like you're awesome and we don't want you to die, so we're going to go save you. And, like, I didn't want to leave the Krogans behind. I didn't, but they're scouts. You know, they, they knew the job was dangerous. Mm. Yeah, it is kind of a weird... And they had Solarian civilians in there. Like, it, was, it yeah. wasn't it was that hard a call. Yeah, but at the, at the same time, though, I also get that... I also get why the Krogan took the stance that they Sure, did. anybody would be upset about it. I'm just saying from a tactical standpoint, like, scouts who understand they were taking a risk doing a military job, civilians that had just been woken up out of cryo and captured the moment they, you know, like... Can I have some dessert, please? Yep. I know, Silver. I always feel bad about uh, cr upsetting Crook and Grandpa as well. He's like a Jewish mother. You just don't want to upset him. You'll never believe this. Elizabeth Ryan. Her initials. ER. Are you telling me? I saw Dad's last memory. ER is Ellen Ryder. He put her here. Scott, it's Mom. Don't throw her out, though. She's still diseased. Yeah. I don't... How... Wow. How is this possible? Uh... Stasis froze her disease? Apparently. Putting her into stasis also put her disease on hold. It's progress. Has Duh? Been stasis after she fell unconscious in the hospital. This is incredible. So dad being a pain in the ass finally paid off. You think you're stuck oh, in the And then punch him. Why didn't he tell us? Yeah. <laughs> I said the same thing, but does it really matter? She's still with us. Well, let's get her out of there. Are you an idiot? That's no. advisable. Although Evan is alive, providing her with trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. Then let's cure her. Can't we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. Well, we've years. all been asleep. Yeah, that's not how... Yeah, that's not how anything works. <laughs> Why would you say that? I don't know. But we don't have it yet. <laughs> of course, we could save Mom by exalting her. We will all become cat. There we go. Let's keep her safe. Just make sure she stays safe, Sam. We lost her once. We're not losing her again. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill together. Aww. But we won't, because this game got no sequel. Actually, I don't know if we don't or not. <laughs> He's like, I when we retract that spoiler... No, I uh, honestly... No, legitimately, he doesn't remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember. Must not have been that memorable. Most of this game wasn't. <laughs> I'm still trying to remember how the main block goes. I can't wait. To, I can't wait to be in Frozen Edna Jar. Don't you want a body to attach to? I do. Yeah. 
I'll go for a full cybernetic replacement, please. Well, I know that's what you want. I'd be fine living inside the internet. You know what? This mm. seems to be like. My husband would say the same thing. It seems like guys are like either head in a jar or cybernetics, and I'm like, no, I like my body. I just like it to, you know, I not break down. Garbage. Oh no! If they do full like streamlined, cool cybernetics, or better yet, like. Um, <laughs> Quick genetic engineering. This is all going. <laughs> Three inches taller. Oh. <laughs> but I like me. Uh, I like me too, what? but what? if there are. No, not. You don't like you if you go, well, all this is going three inches taller. Well, why not? When you found the Solarian Arch, was anything strange? Out of place? Uh, everything? Oh. Hello, Ryan. I don't think the Solarian part was captured by chance. If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? Let's take it seriously. Now that I think about it, a cat armada just stumbling across the Solarian arc seems a little convenient. Coincidences do happen, but when you put it like that... I'll put the coordinates for this meeting in the nav computer. I suppose there's no harm in making sure. What is the... Hmm? Uh, feeling all right. You were clinically dead for a few seconds. We still going on about I that? I didn't even know a Sam could do that. Eh, news to me. <laughs> I didn't either. Imagine how I felt. <laughs> I'll bet death is the only exit, not the most reassuring words to hear. Anyway, thank you, Sam, for saving Ryder's life. You're welcome, Doctor Alvon. I should get back to things. Good. Silver tries to reassure me with don't think of it as changing yourself, sis. More like being the ideal you, I suppose. Okay, and so here let me specify something here. Alright. Why are we okay? Because you're like, no, you don't like you if you're gonna replace it. Storm technology has been for new research offline. Yeah, it is. We're ready to make our push on Meridian then. No, we're not. Okay. I think I like hostess cupcakes. <laughs> Me too. Turning on There's more time. won't be enough without the heart of the system. Just to clarify, you're defying a direct order. Pathfinder. Nah, not just me. Okay, not just oh. me. I said yeah, Pathfinder with uh, before it even gave me the option. We are going to defy them. <laughs> <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> That's where the ghost storm technology comes in. <laughs> Let's say it one more it's time like that. Break. Ghost store. It won't be all of them, but it'll be enough. The tempest is small and fast. I don't need a big window. We'll drop you off and make our exit before the cat gets off. Once we're on Meridian, it'll be a small team. Move fast, figure out its secrets. Right behind enemy lines. Good time to assess their numbers, defenses. And when you're ready, we'll extract you the same way we got you in. If we come back with actuals on the video, the Nexus will sit up. Sounds like a solid plan. Breka, you ready? Good to go on your word, Pathfinder. All right, guys, this is it. Let's get moving. This doesn't necessarily seem like a fantastic plan, but we'll discuss that in a minute. Yeah, you yeah. like Hostess okay. Cupcakes? I like Hostess Cupcakes. <laughs> they are tasty. If you have Hostess Cupcakes, I will eat them and be happy. However... If you were to walk up to me and go, I see you have a hostess cupcake. However, I just want you to know that the triple chocolate cake from Marigold's is available. <laughs> I know you're happy with your hostess cupcake, but would you maybe like to upgrade? Well, I, I would go, hell yes, we'll upgrade. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I guess it depends on what you mean by upgrading. Like, if, you know, genetic tinkering could happen to, like, make my metabolism behave a little more like it did when I was 18, that I would take, you know? But I don't need to be, you know, I don't need different body build, like a bone structure or extra inches or anything like that. I, would, I wouldn't mind being three inches taller just because I'm tired of being the shortest member of my family. <laughs> um, 
and uh, I would like to be thinner. I would okay. like a knee that works. We had ten minutes in that's this episode, the kind of so I'm going to run that's that's like, Yeah, like if something's broken or like, you know, like go in there, tune it up, yeah. new parts. But, but like I don't want someone else's face or anything. I just want this to be better. Okay. I, I agree with this to be better. Three inches taller sounded like the beginning of a list of actual changes. You know, when I, like, okay, ten years ago, I would have also been like, and I want elf ears, and I want this, and we're not there anymore. Oh, right. If we're going into the super future, can I just be a dragon? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, ten years ago, I totally would have been like that. Uh, I mean, like, if we're going to, like, looking at, like, purely cosmetic things, I'd kind of like it if my eyes were a little bit bigger, because I have little squinty eyes. <laughs> I have the family squint. It's very obnoxious. Yeah. If I smile without thinking about... If I smile unthinkingly, I don't have eyes anymore. <laughs> like, if you take pictures of me and I'm giggling or something, I don't have eyes anymore. It's just like, you. I look like little kawaii faces on food that, you know... Those are adorable. The little... Just the little lines. That's me. It's like those are based on something. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah. Silver has it down. This plan is totally going to work completely, and everyone will welcome us back despite our going rogue. Well, they have to because nothing has any uh, consequences, yeah, remember? That's true. Wait, 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 wait. Well, this is the main plot. Okay. They can have consequences. They just can't. As long as we don't have to make a decision here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I really have to use the restroom. Okay. Well, you've seen this, so that's okay. Mm -hmm. Here's. <clears throat> so, the Nexus doesn't want us to go to Meridian. Uh -huh. Because the Nexus, probably correctly, at least as far as assessment goes, is we just we're not we don't have troops to start a war, which yeah. is not a terrible concern. Ack. I mean, it's a valid concern. It's valid. It's a valid concern. I knew that was like, going to happen. Writers like, I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's. <sighs> We've been face to face with the Archon who is obsessed with the Meridian, and we know that, and we've gotten mm -hmm. multiple bits of evidence from multiple angles that's like, Where? this Where guy is oh, obsessed wow. with this thing. We're the only ones that have been able to make any of this remnant stuff work. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's gonna let us in so that we make it work. Yeah, he's not, his plan and seems he's pretty obvious standard him. RPG villain of you do the hard work and I take all the credit. And then he's gonna surround us with his Superior numbers that we don't want to piss off. Probably me. Sorry about that. Though if you'd broken a spread, I'd be sorry. You sent us the message about the Solarian Arc. Yes, Major Salem Vaughn, STG, retired, of course. What's STG? Special reminder for anybody who doesn't know. We were field agents who gathered intelligence and handled inconveniences by any means necessary, even assassination, if you prefer. As I said, these days I stick with retiree. Spies never retire. <laughs> Espionage is a job that follows you home or across the world. I there's nothing for it but to grow a conscience. But let's be frank. There are too many inconsistencies aboard our honor. They only make No, I'm right. My best suspect is a biologist, Dr. Adam. But the evidence is thin. I need Pathfinder to verify what I found, or I risk arresting an innocent man. Who's Adam? Why would he betray his art? An ex-military biologist from the early wake-up team on our arm. He claims to be studying the cat. As for why, I intend to ask him. Couldn't Rekha help you solve this? I trust Rekha implicitly, but I can't say the same for her team. You're obviously trustworthy. If you were involved, you wouldn't have saved our arc in the first place. Excuse me, sir. You're out on end. How do we catch your traitor? I hope there's not one. Dr. Adam's equipment and a cat who might be his handler. I need you and your family to analyze it. If we show Dr. Adam's in regular contact with the cat, that will prove he's the one. What will happen to him? What's the standard punishment for cat collaborators? The most oh, people would settle for an angry mob, but I like to think justice made the trip out here. But remember Dr. Adam's equipment and his cat contact. This has to be watertight. Good luck. How would anyone have had time to be, to get in contact with Ket such that they would be willing to betray her? I'm hoping that this is like this, not what it looks this like. This premise already seems absurd. <laughs> like, 
Oh, is it they are saying planet, there had to be a betrayer like because there was no way the cat would fall, have found him that quickly. But that just means they had to find the, qu- the cat that quickly. Yeah. Which seems equally absurd. I know the galaxy is a big place, but I mean, they jumped out near a planet, right? Like, I don't know. Maybe the suspect woke up early? I possibly? mean, he said Oops. He said they were part of the early, early wake-up wake up team. team. But yeah, someone had to wake up first. That doesn't change the fact that they... But the how Solarian, much early? The Solarian Ark was captured almost immediately. Like, they had all, no time to wake anyone up. That was part of the problem. So I suppose if by woke up early you mean woke up well before they were scheduled to, then I suppose... Um, After Vault. So I missed the. Con- so what was the consensus on the conversation about heading to Meridian? Huh? Oh, oh. I just. Uh, I don't know. This feels like a trap. Like we know the Archon is obsessed with Meridian. Yes. Like we've seen it from multiple angles and multiple sources. So yes. I mean, if he's got any brains at all. He's going to let us get in there, let us turn it on, and then turn on us with his superior numbers and take it from us. Well, I think the other part of the problem, though, is that we need Meridian to jumpstart and control the terraforming network throughout the planets. The Archon wants Meridian to use it as a weapon. The Archon knows where Meridian is because he stole our memories and has footage of us activating So somebody's got to beat him to it. Yeah, so it's regardless of I mean, yes we know he's going to be there but we need to hurry up and get there and turn it on and take it away from him I think is the Why are these things doing so far apart? Do we want to do the break now? I was kind of hoping to finish this first. Okay. What we'll the it. fuck? Hi. That was a special loading zone. That was a special load. Oh, jeez. All right. Hi. All right. It's the specialist load. It's still loading, it seems like. Mm. We're loading in and out of planets pretty quickly. for the conversation? Okay, cool. So you have to be so damn careful in this game. Come on, I can do it. Do it before episode break. Load faster. Where's my car? Get in the car. Drive! As I've been reading Milky Way history, I'm coming to think it would be difficult to trust said aliens. They're the same as the rest of us. Gotta take the good with the bad. That's fair. Don't care about you, bye! Would have liked him to elaborate on that. Let's get a scan. Oh. I mean, Solarians are known to be spies. Oh, that's... I mean, that's fair. What's up, folks? Wanna play? I got a game. I mean, the Turians might be militaristic, but they're straightforward about it. Yeah. Cat we just punched? Yeah. We get some proof of that maybe? Uh, Really, that would have happened before we punched him. Yeah, you would think. Of what? I don't know. Remains? Taste that remains of him after that biotic attack? (laughs) Wait, no? Uh, No. Back there, sunshine. Yeah, no, it's the guy that you punched. Actually, no, I think that one got 30 grenades to the skull. Okay. Ooh. 
Depends on Adam's betrayal and are both circumstantial. So we cleared the innocent man. We could head to the Nexus and ask Rekha about this. Maybe she knows something. Oh, I don't want to head back to the Nexus. Uh, this seems like side quests. So it probably is. All right, so in that case, <sighs> those of you on Twitch, just hang out with us for a minute. We're going on break. And for those of you on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be back in next episode. Bye!